Hi, my name is Ben Pate from Wobi Design and today we're going to make a fully usable lumber made entirely out of broken skateboards. Okay, first, you need to recycle a bunch of skateboards. All these skateboards right here took me about four years to get. And since I live in Los Angeles, which is one of the biggest skateboarding communities in the world, it's really easy for me to go to local skate shops and get a bunch of different skateboards and have a collection like this. But if you don't live in a metropolitan city like Los Angeles, New York, or Chicago, you might have to stick with pallets. Now, majority of these skateboards here are gonna be snapped, especially the bottom half here. They're all snapped in half like this. And I always struggled how to use these skateboards, but now that I have a working press, the epoxy works great. I'm going to glue up a bunch of these broken skateboards and see what happens. Okay, so I have 20 skateboards here and they're all snapped in half. See this? Now, before you do anything to these skateboards, you have to take off the grip tape. Let me show you exactly how long it takes to take off the grip tape from one skateboard. Okay, so I just finished taking off all the grip tape off these skateboards. Some of these grip tapes are really easy to remove and some are not. It really ranges all over the place. And Izzy Swan saw the struggle that I'm going through to take these off. So he's gonna help me figure out some kind of jig. So stay tuned for that. Now, since I have all these grip tapes off, we're gonna have to sand it to bare wood. This is the worst part. And from my experience, using these Holy Gola Hat discs by King Arthur's Tools, and it takes off all the graphic, glue residue, all the stickers, as well as the finish. So I've been using these, and these last a long time. I had this for a year, and it still works great. Let me show you exactly how long it takes to sand one skateboard. Let's go sand it. I have 20 skateboards all sanded down and I stacked it in a way that I'm going to glue it up. And I don't know if you've seen my last video, but I started using Total Boat Epoxy to laminate these skateboards because it fills up the gaps as well as the holes. And overall, it's been much stronger lamination. And I'm using Total Boat High Performance Epoxy, uh, which is two to one ratio. And mixing these is really easy. Just pick the right ratio and pour according to that line. And Total Boat is nice enough to give you 15% off, so check out the link down in the description. Let's go load up.
Okay, so the glue up went pretty well and the epoxy is slowly filling up each gaps here and it looks pretty promising. And so we're gonna let this dry for at least 24 hours and then we're gonna resaw it into more usable lumber. What went amazing and it looks really good and I wouldn't know if it filled up the gaps or not until I resaw it so let's go ahead and resaw it So this is my bandsaw. This is the Grizzly G0513X2BF. I got it right. And I partnered up with Grizzly to show off this bandsaw. And there's some features in this bandsaw that you might really like. For example, there's an auto brake on this switch. So if I want to turn it off, it stops after like two seconds. Same thing on the foot brake. If I apply the foot brake. And I think someone said 90% of bandsaw injuries happen after the bandsaw is shut off. In any case, it's really handy. Another feature that I really like about this bandsaw is the fence. Now primarily, I use this bandsaw for resawing. Having a blade drift adjustable fence is really handy to have. And if you want to know how to tune up this bandsaw, go ahead and check out this video right up here. And I got a personal lesson from Jonathan Katz Moses as well. And it works amazing. And right now you can save 10% off this model as well as G0513 AMD. It's the black one. Save yourself some money. Get a legitimate bandsaw that actually works for you. Cool? Let's resaw it. Just to let you know, this bandsaw blade, guess how much it is? It's like 20 bucks. It's not nice. Okay, so I have four planks here and it looks pretty good. And right in the middle here, it looks like it filled up all the gaps here. And yeah, it looks really good. Now, I'm gonna use the drum sander to make it flat and mill it using the jointer and the table saw and have a fully usable lumber that's square and ready to go. Let's do that. Okay, so here it is. Usable lumber made out of recycled skateboards. Broken skateboard, actually. The epoxy filled the majority of these gaps, and yeah, this thing is solid. Special thanks to TotalBoat for making this video happen. And if you want to save some money, check out the link down in the description below. Thanks, TotalBoat. 
So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. This is what I've been trying to figure out ever since I started making things out of recycled skateboards, which is consistently getting usable lumber out of recycled skateboards or broken skateboards. Now, I'm not in the business of selling materials or usable lumber made out of recycled skateboards. But if you really, really want it, go check out my Patreon page, which will be down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Till next time.